you're watching the Venom vlog. Hey, when are you gonna make a Spidey vlog? Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today, while my uh, episode is uploading right now, actually it's exporting, um, I have about an hour long episode that I'm uploading right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And I'm going to try to keep my voice down because it's about 2.30 in the morning and I'm exporting my video that I just recorded and I, you know, edited and everything. Didn't put a lot of bells and whistles on it. Pretty much no bells and whistles really because it was an hour long video and I tried to trim it even more. And I was just like, you know what? I want to include as many comments, you know, from you guys that I can. And, uh, and some of the you know, questions I answered, I found myself like, oh, I already answered that one or I repeated myself. So I tried to cut it down and I got it to about 55 minutes. So for those of you who watch it, thank you very much. I know that's a long video um, and it's just me reading comments and responding to them. So I appreciate you guys engaging with me. Uh, if you did watch that and you left comments there, thank you for doing that. And when we do our trailer reaction, we'll do more of that where I'll watch the trailer, I'll react to it. And then you guys tell me what you think of the trailer in the comments. And then I'll make another video where I respond to your comments to again and include you guys in this discussion. Um, so yes, thank you guys for supporting me and hopefully you guys, you know, made it through that video. If you didn't watch the whole thing, that's fine. I appreciate you watching any of it at all, but hopefully you saw the intro by Ariadne, uh, the actress who was in the movie, who plays part of, uh, she's, uh, one of the, you know, the Eddie Brock's documentary crew members and, uh, she could, they get like kicked out of the life foundation together and stuff. So she was nice enough to do that intro. So big shout out to her. Thank you very much. And to Sona again, this, I'll do another birthday shout out to you. Happy birthday, Sona. And if any of you guys have birthdays, let me know when they're coming up in the comments and I'll try to remember them or just remind me and I'll try to give you guys shout outs too. So thank you Sona for your endless support on this channel. And today what we're going to do is we're going to take a break from the movie news for the next two episodes. And then on Friday when I'm off, I'll record, um, you know, my videos about the panel interview with Tom Hardy, Ruben Fleischer and Riz Ahmed, and then also the IGN interview and some of the other stuff they talked about. So we'll get into that movie information probably on Friday. Uh, but for today, I'm going to record two more episodes while this is exporting. And the first one is going to be about the news of a Venom annual comic book coming out in October, actually October 17th, which is like a week or two after the movie comes out. And uh, this annual, which I find kind of weird, Marvel does this a lot now, where they release an annual before the comic hits issue 12. Uh, the whole point of annuals back in the day was that once a year, you would do an annual and it would kind of be a separate story or summarize a story or expand on a story that happened during that year. And the whole point of an annual was you could sometimes get in other writers to come in and tell their like version of a Spider-Man story or an X-Men story. And so annuals kind of serve that purpose to where they were like a jumbo size. Like if a comic was normally two bucks, uh, annual might be three or four bucks and you would get twice or three times the amount of content and it would come from different writers so you can get their perspective on these characters, different artists, artists that are trying to break into comics. They're getting their first jobs on annuals. There was a purpose to annuals. Uh, nowadays, they're just there for whatever reason. Um, to me, I wish they would have done like a Venom giant sized number one, something to celebrate the movie coming out and bringing back past creators and doing this as like a big tribute to the 30 years of the character. I would have rather something like that. Um, but this is kind of what they're doing with the annual, but still by calling it an annual, it's like, yeah, but issue like seven or eight of Venom will be coming out at this time. So it hasn't even gone a whole year and we're already getting the annual. Uh, but, you know, nitpicking this aside, at the retailer panel uh, at Comic-Con this past week, they announced Venom Annual Number 1, and uh, and it is going to be written by Donny Cates. Uh, there's also going to be uh, stuff in there from Jeff Loveness and David Michelini, who is uh, the co-creator of Venom uh, with Todd McFarlane, so he's coming back in. Uh, Ty Walker, Ron Lim, and I'm hoping that Ron Lim teams up with David Michelini because I believe they teamed up for a short story in Venom issue 150. And we will definitely get to that point, you know, when we're going through the reviews and the history of the character, we'll definitely get there probably by the end of the year. But I really like that short story. I thought it was really cool. And there was a lot of cool little dark humor elements in it that David Michelini put in there. So he hasn't lost his touch uh, as a writer, definitely. And Ron Lim's art was really great. So hopefully they're teaming up for a story in this book. Uh, and there's more to be announced coming up soon. And there is more uh, information about it that will come out soon. But they're saying that Venom Annual Number 1 is a perfect jumping on point for readers and new and old. In short, this is one issue of Venom you can't afford to miss. It makes me wonder when it says jumping on point, 
if Donny Cates is going to be kind of done with this God Venom story because he did mention that this is like a setup for like a three or two to three year storyline so I don't see how this annual could be a jumping on point but I guess we'll see you know uh, but if it has classic stories in there or stories set throughout Eddie's or the suits you know continuity that's great and I'm definitely on board for that uh, especially anything David McElhinney is going to write you know obviously I love that guy I love his writing I love his stuff with Venom so I'm on board for sure and seeing Ron Lim on there gets me excited as well but there's the cover I've ho hopefully had it up this whole time it's a gorgeous cover I think it's awesome I can't see who did it um, if anyone knows the artist let me know down in the comments below but I think the art that cover looks like I don't know is it Ryan Stegman it feels like it could be like with the guy like you know the, but the venom suit looks different like it looks like someone else drew that i don't know i can't tell who is and i can't see the signature i, I can't what, read what it says it's 2 30 in the morning i'm really tired uh and i can't zoom in for some reason on my on my kindle so you guys let me know if you know who the artist is on that cover it's awesome i think it's a beautiful piece uh it's very cool and i can't wait to see what stories are in this and the fact that it comes out so close to the movie is really great too because then it'll you know just be something else out there for us to ingest uh after we see the movie because we you know uh, depending if we love the movie or not or hate it you know we might we might need some comic stuff to like fill a void while we wait for the blu-ray or dvd come out or something to read while we're waiting to go see it a second or third time in the theater. So let me know what you guys think of this annual. Is there anything special you want to see in it? Is there anything you hope that they put in it? Let me know down in those comments below, and I'll put a link if you want to read uh, this. I got this straight from the Marvel website, so I'll put a link to it down below so you guys can check it out and see everything for yourself. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.